क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन इज इंजरी टू अल्लन नव ऑप्शन ए इज रिजल्ट इन क्लॉ हैंड ऑप्शन बी इज रिजल्ट इन लॉस ऑफ सेंसेशन इन द लेटरल थ्री एंड हाफ डिजिट ऑन द डॉर्थ सरफेस ऑफ हैंड ऑप्शन सी इज कैन अकर इन फ्रैक्चर ऑफ लेटरल एपिकंडाइल ऑफ हिमरस ऑप्शन डी इज कॉज इज पैरालिसिस ऑफ थिनार मसल्स ऑप्शन ई इज गिव राइज टू सिम्टम्स ऑफ खापो जनरल सिंड्रोम The correct answer in this scenario is option A that injury to ulnar nerve results in claw hand while rest of the options are wrong because in option B it is results in loss of sensation in lateral 3 and half digits on dorsal surface of hand that is the nerve supply of the median nerve most commonly it is injured in the medial epicondyle of the humerus so option C is wrong causes paralysis of thenar muscle wrong it supplies the hypothenar muscles and it doesn't gives rise to symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome that is median nerve question number 22 is about the clavicle option a is it usually fracture at the junction of lateral third with intermediate third option b is in its medial third it receives insertion of pectoralis minor option c is it is ossified in cartilage option d is its posterior surface related to the roots of brachial plexus option e is its sternal end articulates with manubrium sternae only so the correct answer in this scenario is option e that is it usually fracture at the junction of lateral third with intermediate third rest of the options are for wrong because it ossifies in membrane and the posterior surface uh, is related to the division of brachial plexus not to the roots and the sternal end articulates with first rib also along with manubrium sternae Question number twenty-three is regarding biceps brachii muscle. Option A is it is supplied by median nerve. Option B is it is the chief supinator of forearm. Option C is it is ossif. Sorry, it is attached to the anterior part of radial tuberosity. Option D is its short head. Short head is a extensor of shoulder joint. Option E is is an extensor of elbow joint. the correct scenario the correct option in this case is it is option b it is the chief supinator of forearm while other options are wrong because it is supplied by musculocutaneous nerve and it is attached to anterior part of radial tuberosity via aponeurosis bicipital aponeurosis and it is flexor of the shoulder joint and it is also flexor of elbow joint Question number twenty-four is about the humerus. Option A is its growing end is the lower end. Option B is it ossifies in membrane. Option C is it fractures the surgical neck may lead to injury to axillary nerve. Option D is subscapular is attached to greater tubercle. Option E is pectoralis minor is attached to lateral lip of occipital groove. The correct answer in this scenario is option C that is fracture at the surgical neck may lead to injury to the axillary nerve rest of the options are false because growing end of the humerus is proximal end it ossifies in cartilage and subscapularis and pectoralis minor are attached to subscapularis is attached to lesser tubercle while pectoralis uh, minor is attached to the medial side of the proximal humerus 
क्वेश्चन नंबर 25 इज इंजरी टू मीडियन नर्व एट रिस जॉइंट रिजल्ट्स इन ऑप्शन ए रिस ड्रॉप ऑप्शन बी इन एबिलिटी टू अपोज द थंब ऑप्शन सी लॉस ऑफ सेंसेशन इन डॉर्सल सरफेस ऑफ लास्ट फेलेंजेस ऑफ द मीडियल थ्री एंड हाफ डिजिट्स ऑप्शन डी लॉस ऑफ प्रोनेशन ऑप्शन ई लॉस ऑफ क्यूटिनियस सेंसिबिलिटी इन द पाम एंड लेटरल थ्री एंड हाफ डिजिट्स so the correct answer in this scenario is option b inability to oppose the thumb because opponent's pollicis is supplied by median nerve it is drop is, is due to uh, injury to radial nerve and loss of sensation of dorsal surface of uh, phalange last phalanges of the medial surface is not happening in the median nerve because the nerve which supplies the sensory supply is uh, given before the wrist joint and loss of pronation is not found injury to the median nerve